Logan. We have a, another Dick Taylor Kraft chocolate handcrafted in Eureka, California. They're really good chocolates. We've had a number of them. This one is a hazelnut milk chocolate. We love hazelnut and we love milk chocolate. So I have high expectations for this one. And the ingredients are cocoa, cane sugar, milk powder, butter, vanilla bean, and hazelnuts. So I'm looking for vanilla notes and hazelnut notes. And like always, they have a beautiful packaging. This one invokes kind of a farm. So this like sense of like we're getting a local bean, local made crafted chocolate. I'm sure they source their chocolate not from California though. So we'll see if we can taste the difference in that. Thanks Alexander Family Farm for the chocolate. Mm. Opening the chocolate is very easy. There's a flap at the back. You just pull off the tab and you flip it open. Opens sort of like a top side envelope. Inside there is a beautiful uh, yellow brown packaging and the pattern on it is very reminiscent of European wood carving and panels that line walls. So maybe a, a very fancy drapery or a carpet. It opens up very easily. The chocolate inside is a very nice um, bit of chocolate. Oh, looks like it broke on the way out. Um, the chocolate also has the pattern of the box on it that is a very signature Dick Taylor move. Um, it has a very beautiful diamond shape. Inside you can see bits of hazelnut. Very nice robust chunks of hazelnut. And the pattern is very pretty. In terms of smells, oh, it's beautifully, beautifully smells of hazelnuts and a Nutella smell almost. It does crumble quite a bit when you break it. it the snap is very soft and uh, be careful because it, it will leave a residue on your fingers if you're not careful. I'm very excited to try and taste it. Oh, that is a very, very nice fresh it, it almost smells like a freshly cut hazelnut oh yeah doesn't it yeah it smells darker but you're right it might be that hazelnut that nutty taste mm -hmm. my mouth is salivating yes yeah that there, is a very stimulating yes. smell so mm -hmm. I, I don't know how they did it but sometimes when you get a hazelnut chocolate that has hazelnut chunks inside of it mm -hmm. the hazelnut goes stale and gets soft and you know mushy and you see this a lot in like cheap hazelnut chocolates this hazelnut it, it's wonderful. It, it feels as if it came just right out of the forest, you know, and um, it's very melty. <laughs> so eat it quickly. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Three, two, two one. one. Ah. <laughs> Do I have stuff? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. mm. mm -hmm. It almost tastes like there's no sugar mm. in this chocolate. We're just getting the cocoa and the nice little bites of hazelnut mixed in between. They're, the hazelnuts are small, small to the size that I wouldn't know if they're hazelnuts, like if they're almonds or something else, mm. I actually wouldn't be able to tell. Mm. Um, but the chocolate itself is like nice and smooth and melty. It's not very sweet. And yeah, it almost feels like there's no sugar in it. Mm. But I'm not getting like multiple like symphony of notes from the cocoa. I just get kind of this big burst of it as it melts into my mouth and then not too much of an aftertaste. I agree, not too much of an aftertaste. And also, you know, the chocolate, it doesn't feel like an extremely solid, hard, dry piece of chocolate. Hmm. It's sort of like a cocoa mass, I want to say. Like the ratio of cocoa butter in this chocolate is excellent. Like it's it's smooth and it's melty and it's not... It's not one a chocolate you have to work really hard velvety. with your mouth. Ve oh, such a good word, velvety. Yes, it's very velvety. It's 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 wonderfully melty and soft and luscious. I think I agree with you on the on the hazelnut piece. I think maybe the the chunks are a little bit too small, and because they're too they, they're a little small, so they might be indistinguishable from like another type of nut. Like could have been a you know, uh, uh, an, a pine nut for all I know in, in, ter in terms of this size. But the thing that I like about it is that they cut it into very nice and smooth chunks. Mm -hmm. So even as I move it around my mouth, it doesn't scrape my tongue, it doesn't mm -hmm. scrape the roof of my mouth. And 
the aftertaste of the chocolate feels like cocoa powder. Uh, like, you know how you have like the little truffles and the truffles are covered in cocoa powder, they're rolled in? That's what the aftertaste feels like. There's a, just a very strong, like, uh, almost... Um, Bitterness? Bi a bitter a bitter cocoa powder after yeah. yes i was gonna say like a dry but bitter it kind of leaves you wanting to get that high again yes. of the initial taste and so then you reach for another one mm -hmm. versus kind of leaving leaving you satisfied how would you rate it i'd give it a six. Ooh, a six yeah i'd give it a nice seven okay. I, I i always enjoyed dick taylor's chocolate and mm -hmm. the packaging you know the the design I don't know if, how well you can see the design pattern on the chocolate, but it's just a beautiful design pattern. Uh, that that by itself, you know, getting those fine little details. Yeah. When you want to imprints. treat yourself with chocolate, this feels like a treat. It, it feels, feels luxurious. decadent, luxurious, yeah. very nice. Very good job, yeah. Dick Taylor. Thank you so Let much. us know what you think about this chocolate down in the comments below. And Dick Taylor, thank you for making wonderful chocolate. And until next time, bye. bye.